Muskegon's 100.9, talking heads in once in a lifetime. And you know what, Oscar? We stumped the old guy already, man. He I know, right? He, Can you he believe claimed, it? He claimed he hadn't heard that song before, so I, I'm pretty impressed. I say uh, we just end this interview right now. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm really excited, folks, uh, this afternoon here at the old radio ranch. Got a couple of old... O L E. We won't even Watch say it O L E. I'm not as, I'm not as old as he is. No, you're pretty darn close. Yeah, I know. No, but you're, you, you you're look looking as. <laughs> <laughs> we all said the same thing. Oh, with me, I, I've got Paul Phillips in the studio, and uh, Paul, founder of DJs on the Run. And if you've been to a wedding in the last uh, 50 years or so here in the Muskegon <laughs> area, maybe a dance, a high school dance, could be a gig at the local pub. There's a really, really, really good chance that you uh, fell in love, shook a leg, danced to, yelled at, flipped off Paul Phillips. <laughs> last he, one. He last hit, one of quite he a hit them all, yeah. didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, and then Oscar Osbo is here as well. Oscar helps us out with some of the technical stuff here at Muskegon's 100.9 and I think when I, cripe Oscar, probably about 30 years ago is yeah, when I started park, working here. Yeah, right Roll here. Mall. Two, yeah. two yeah, floors up. Towers, man. Right? Him and I yeah. started working together at LCS. So yeah. uh, we go back well over 30 years so welcome you guys and I, I, I basically uh, I talked to Oscar and he was saying you know Paul's having a birthday and so I thought uh, you know I, I don't know you know I don't look at people I, I wasn't gonna say you're age 80 but uh, I wasn't gonna say your age at all let people know how old you are or anything <laughs> like that thank but, you <laughs> but what's interesting to me is okay well, we can be honest about that Paul turned 80 years old this week and you're still spinning oh yeah why not <laughs> that's amazing Amazing. So once you get it in your blood, you, it doesn't go out. You can't. You can't get rid of it. So you're actually you, you, you've quit doing the weddings. You're not going full time. You're not right, DJs on right. the run. Isn't really working at this point in time. No, but no. you've still kept yourself a couple of rigs. And if yep, somebody sure needs, did. if you've got some regulars, some family friends, local pub owners that are friends yep. of yours, and if they need a little bit of help, you'll pull the stuff out and That's, go do it. Yep. In fact, we pulled it out last night, had it in the driveway for Halloween. So <laughs> the other one is <laughs> sitting down the, the, the road. He pulled out the rig last night. Pulled out night. the rig yeah. last night, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and of course, this guy, he he wants, everyone wants me to quit, so. Yeah, well, well actually, it was he, he and I decided that that was it. Wedding receptions were all done. Somebody wants to do an oldies dance or something like that, we're fine. You'll do that. Yep, we'll do that. But still, so do you still stay up on the music or not necessarily? Oh, yeah. Or yes. do you pick, you, you yep. have to do that? Yep. I can't imagine that. I would hate having to stay up on the music <laughs> right. nowadays. And, and, and you know what's nice? I actually got a guy in the studio that's older than me, which feels kind of good right now. But, uh, but what? how do you stay up on it? How do you keep an open mind with music? That's got to be difficult. I'm starting to, I've always thought I was very open-minded when it comes to music, but I'm getting to that point where I'm more and more like my dad all the time now, where I have no, I, I'll put on one of the top 40 stations and I can't stand to listen to it. How do you, well, how do let you me, stay up? How do you keep educating yourself without going, hey, if it's over 1980, I'm not doing this. Let me put it to you this way. When I go to work on the weekends, Friday and Saturday, from my house to where I work, I listen to the oldies to get my sanity before I start playing. <laughs> 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 How far back do you go? When did, when did you start? Now, you've not only been doing the DJ thing, DJs on the run, but you were also, people that don't know Paul for many years, was Peter Tripp around this area. It was in radio, and you were involved in radio before you even got yeah. to this side of the country for Peter, the Peter part, so. Tripp the curly headed kid in the third role that came from New York that's where I started okay and <clears throat> working for WKBZ 50,000 watts. No, no, KBZ was here. Yeah, that KBZ, was KBZ. Uh, well, uh, where did I, where did I, I work? <laughs> KBW, uh, yeah, the big station in Buffalo, New York. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I that forgot, one. I forgot the call w letter. Was this pre-chicken wing at the yeah. time? Or did they, I'm just curious, or were they making chicken wings in Buffalo or was it before yeah. then even? Well, we did, we did the night show. We did the overnight show. Uh, okay. Mike, the Mike Shannon show. Okay. That was a, a real big thing. The, the howl and everything else. And that's, that's the story. I tell Which Mike Shannon's a very well known yeah. personality. Yep, right. That was that was great. That so was, how long ago was this? This is back in 1955, 56. That was when you first started gigging in radio. Yeah. Well, I did it in high school. Wow. I took a local little record player out and did it back then. Wow. When Elvis first came out. 
than when Bill Haley first came out. That's what got me interested in music. I went to college for meteorology. Now this is this is the this is the bad part. I went to college for meteorology. Last of the year, Elvis came out, and the rest is history. And I don't know whether I kicked myself in the butt for not sticking with the meteorology, or I had a good life, made a lot of money, had a good time. You I could still have had love George music. Lessons spot, man. You could have been George Lessons. I could have been. There. I could have been George Lessons. Yeah. You could have yeah. Bill yeah. Stephan. There's all yeah. kinds Bill of guys. Could have yeah. been uh, Craig James. But course, instead, they, you're they, Peter. Trump. Trip. Yeah, I'm Peter Trip. <laughs> <laughs> but he did get to interview Elvis. He also interviewed, uh, uh, I, who was it, Connie Francis or who was No, it was your uh, Annette Funicello. And he oh, Annette Funicello, he couldn't, yeah. He, could, he was saying such a crush on her from the Mickey Mouse Club that he couldn't even interview her. Oh, I would have been. Went that. Up to yeah, him and, absolutely. I, 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 and that was it. That, that would have been tough on me. That would have been tough on me. Any other interviews back in the day? How about with Elvis? Everybody says he was just the consummate gentleman, real nice he was. guy, great yeah. to interview, very respectful and all those things. And I knew him before he got into the drugs and stuff. I remember him, and he did. He he was always, uh, you know, he, he didn't come out with a, something wrong with my lip. He would... Thank you very much. Uh, yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Uh, yeah, that was the type of person he was. And I think a lot of it was he was shy. He was shy at first. Yeah. Yep, I think he was. He was. He came across yeah. that way. All right, so you end up here in West Michigan. We don't have to go through the entire process of that. but uh, No, that's not really interesting. Yeah, and then you start <laughs> you start DJs on the run in 1972. Is that? Yeah, yeah. That was, that was, yeah. He's, he looks at his press secretary, Oscar, to make sure. <laughs> I know. It. Yeah, well, uh, you know, the, well, when you're 80 years old, the memory is right. not as sharp as it was when <laughs> the, you were yeah. a teen. So you, you have your own resident historian. Right, Oscar. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That you can actually, actually, we started Paul's Platter Pad. Paul's Platter, platter pad. pad. Remember the I was platter? not here. No, but Platter yeah. was, you yeah, know, right okay, right. That's, yeah. that's old talk, yeah. We, really, the name, yeah. Of your, the name of the business was Paul's it's Platter, platter pad. pad? Yeah, that was my wife's idea. How long did that take you guys? Were you sitting around the kitchen table for hours <laughs> coming up with that one? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> no problem. Named all the kids, no problem whatsoever. Just can't name the company. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what. No. Paul's Platter Pad came out because we're we're still sitting on 16,045 sitting in my basement. Really? So that's where the platters came out. I'll bet some people <laughs> just, I'll bet you some of the vinyl collectors just started drooling over that. Yeah, well, that, they're interested. What, but they what are you doing, saving those price. for your retirement? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what retirement? Yeah, yeah that's, that, was my, that was my point. Wow, you still got them. You still yes. got the 45s. Yeah, in fact, I got one that was pressed in 1950. 52. That would have been one of the original 45s. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Back in 42. There's, there's a lot of history there. There's a lot of history. But you I said just, the 78s. I just you it. got rid of those, though, didn't you? No, I still got you 78s, still got too. Yeah, I still got wow. 78s. Yeah. Nothing to play them on, but we still got 78s. That's <laughs> no all Victrola, gone. Right? You don't have a Victrola, though. Uh, yeah, well, we do. Yeah. A couple. I still, I still can play. Do you still own the dog that's uh, on the uh, on all the records? Or yes. Not? You yes. Know, that, uh, that About was, 75 years old. Right. Now, that too, was donated to me. By RCA, yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, you, you, He's should, obese. you should tell him what what he used to take out the first time when you used to go out too. The big horseshoe. Oh yeah. Well, because back in my day when I was on radio, they had the big horseshoe. <laughs> And you had your record players all around you where you went back and forth and stuff like that. So that was the first unit we built. Great big horseshoe. Reel to reel. 45s, albums. We we did it all right there. I don't think we had anything else. Did you, we had 8-tracks later. We had 8-tracks later, did yeah. you, you actually, a DJ services, actually used 8-tracks? <laughs> we, well, we actually played the albums and the 45s. I could see that. Well, the albums yeah. and 45s, it's easier to navigate, but an 8-track, you... If you wanted a certain we, song we to tried be played, it. you just had to wait for three or four songs to <laughs> well, go through. Well, we, we found that There was that no out. rewind and yeah. no fast forward on those things. Well, we rewound them. <laughs> Eight tracks and then, well, this guy here is the reason I, I kept going. Darn it all, I was doing good with the albums, the 45s, then the eight tracks came out, and then we went to what? Tapes. When we, then we went to the cassette tapes, and then this guy kept going forward, and he said, well, you ought to go CDs. I'm going, no, I like the tapes. You better go CDs. No, I like the tapes. So when the CDs were about ready to go out, I started to do CDs. Well, now you're looking at... 
mini disc, right? Yeah. Did we go for mini yeah. disc? Oh, you actually did the mini disc. Did the mini disc oh, yeah. too? But then I came, with, and then. Then I, I finally talked him into using the computer. So. Yeah. Really? You didn't, so, uh, Oscar, you didn't do that tape? <laughs> I, I <laughs> Come did. Come on, I'm surprised I did. you did. Almost. I'm sure you did. I did. Oscar, you yeah, got I a dat machine at home. I just know you do. <laughs> well, I did that when I worked with uh, the, the station in Grand Rapids. Digital did. audio tape. Yeah, is that yeah. what that stood for? Yep. Yeah, I switched them over, too. That was fun. That was yeah. fun. Yeah. Well, Actually, I didn't mind. Now, that, well, that wasn't a bad format. It just never caught on. I know. Yeah. Well, see, now you know why I keep going, because there's there's always something new coming up, and it's a challenge. <laughs> so how do you... I go out now to play music. Most people it's, that are 80 years old aren't into technology at all, but you, you, you've you had to grow with that as well, keeping the business going as long right. as you Well, that's to. because I was always behind in life. <laughs> <laughs> How much so, for that? <laughs> I'm still trying to catch up. Okay, so you're uh, you're still on CDs. You're almost to the no. I, did, no I know. I'm uh, just kidding. All, all computer, all little 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 uh, thumb drive. Little, yeah, thumb, thumb, drive. little thumb drive. Flash but drive, that's yeah. that's the reason I go to the bar and play music because I'm trying something new and I experiment. Oh, let's see how this sounds. I'll play it tonight. We'll change this. We'll change that. Yeah, it keeps you going. Play, play. Yeah, how much do, do you attribute? staying in the business to staying young. I, I would like to know in this country how many 80 year old dudes are still out playing music oh, there's, like this. I'm not there's, the only one. There's, but you might not be the only one, but no. there can't be too many. Man, I remember retiring when I was, I, well, I did two weddings in my entire life, and that was too, too many for me. I just, yeah. you got to be a special person to do that. Well, you did one with me, remember? I actually, I remember doing one yep. with you. I did you do sure. one with you. I remember that yep. out at the VFW out on uh, Apple Avenue yep. many years ago. We sure ago. did. So Probably. see, you had your finger in it too. Everybody's worked for this guy at one time. Greg Roberts, all everybody's yeah, worked for everybody. Christmas. Yeah, Scott yeah. Christmas. A lot That's of been fun, though. I had fun. I have fun doing. I still have fun doing it. Well, you, you, you guys gonna hang around a little bit here? Because I got a bunch of questions I gotta ask yeah. you. But I'm gonna we'll get to, we'll play a couple commercials here and play a couple songs and uh, we'll get back into it with you. We've got uh, Paul Phillips here. Paul from DJs on the Run. Remember that place? And Paul just turned into 80 years old. And I think it's amazing that you're still out there doing this. That's incredible. <laughs> and you're sitting here talking to you. You're you know you're the last thing anybody would assume is that you're 80 years old. Either. Either. And then we've got the great Oscar Osbo here, and uh, Oscar, he looks 80, he's not, but... Uh, that's that's for picking up those big whoopers that and he, he has. And he, acts, and he acts 12, though, that's a good thing about <laughs> that's right, Oscar. That's right, that's right. We got that going on, so we'll, we'll be back. We're going to talk a little more to uh, Paul and uh, Oscar here in just a couple of minutes on Muskegon's 100.9. Muskegon's 100.9... Duran Duran and Hungry Like the Wolf Bill Marshall with you doing my best to get you through this Friday and I got a couple of guests in the studio with me Paul Phillips is here along with Oscar Osbo and uh, both uh, guys that have been in radio for a couple of million years not to mention the <laughs> fact that Paul Phillips uh, had DJs on the run for well just about 50 years 40 something years and he is still out there DJing at 80 years old I'm so damn impressed <laughs> I, I, either it takes I, I, it either takes a lot or doesn't take much I'm not sure which but well, I'm that's glad, impressive I'm glad, I'm glad you that's said impressive. I'm glad you said he's still out there doing uh, DJ because I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> is that why you got out here with you you let you know what you're let doing let me know what you're doing yeah What's it, you know one thing people probably don't think about is hauling equipment man you gotta bring an extra person with you to get all set up and stuff now because you, you look like you're still in pretty good shape we never had had to, but we do now. <laughs> yeah. it takes two of us to lift those woofers now. Oh boy! Yeah. So we, we still got the big, powerful systems, which a lot of people don't care about today. But we did back in the old days. Oh yeah. So, yeah. Nowadays, what do they have? Speakers the size of a cigarette package that uh, yeah. can uh, fill. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, the Bose. Yeah. Four hundred yeah. by two hundred room full right. of sound. Yeah. yeah. I come out there and I set up uh, two columns of speakers, four woofers, four mid ranges, four tweeters, and they say, "Is the roof?" going to stay in the place <laughs> well, 4,000 watts and 4,000 watts yeah. that's fine back when you worked with me I think we yeah, had the, 600 uh, yeah the uh the guys that fly jets got nothing on you, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, with the lasers now, too, you got all that stuff. Yeah, too, the so. laser lights, you know. All right, as a DJ service, what was the first song you ever played? Do you remember or not? Uh... 
probably an Elvis. No, movie. it was. It was off of, when did uh, Saturday Night Fever come out? When did the disco? Uh, the Bee Gees. The Bee Gees. I think it was, no, it was KC and the Sunshine Band. Okay. It was, uh, uh, it was their first hit. In 72? In, well, no, I'm talking. They were 75. What are you talking about? He said the first one you ever played. 72. Yeah, I can't remember. I, I re <laughs> I remember that because it was in a co it was in college. It was up there, at Baker College. I was doing a dance. Yeah. Then we used the old Kenwood. Oh yeah. We the had old, the Kenwood the lamp. Yeah. But I can't remember what the first song was. All right. I, didn't, I thought maybe that indelibly stuck in your. What well, do you remember the your brain. first song you you played at the radio station, K KBW. <laughs> Lots of silence what on the radio. Are you, I, I, what no, are you? I, what I are you? Eighty? <laughs> yeah, you got it. That's boy, I, well. See, I probably could come up with it if you give me a couple of weeks. Right, right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now here's here's a question. I actually wrote down all the years you've been doing DJ and you've done a few hundred weddings. You've done so many different things. I wrote down what I think are the four most popular songs you've played over those 40 years. Why don't you give me, uh, what are, what's the, what are the top three over the last 40, most, 40 years most requested songs you've had to do at DJ's on the run? Elvis Presley. Really? Uh, 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 no, I'm specific songs. Yeah, I'm, I'm, th uh, can't, can't help fall in love. love. Yeah. Okay. Cool in the gang celebration. Yeah, that's on my list. And Bob Seger's old time rock and roll. That one is not on my list. What about those are your one? How about uh, CCR? I got the hokey pokey on here. Oh yeah, they used to do that. Yeah, we used to do it, but it wasn't that Bert, big. Bert no, I'm talking about how many times you've played it over forty years. Proud Mary. That's one I didn't think. About I'm giving that. you the songs that we played the most. Hokey okay. pokey. What yeah, about, yeah. You know what I had? A couple of you know what I had on here? Shook me all night long. I had bad bad Leroy Brown on yes. here. Yes. Oh yeah, well, that, that was a big yep, one. Is it? Yep, yeah. That was that was a yeah. big one. And for the newer, how about my prerogative, Bobby Brown? Yeah, oh yeah, big yeah. one. Yeah. You want to guarantee to fill the dance floor? You right. Absolutely. One. During that period of time, whenever that was, was the eighties or but something. The eighties. Like See, I forgot yeah, about Proud Mary and old time rock and roll. Old yeah. time rock and roll is one of those that the eighty, the, even the eighty year olds get on. Well, the, the, that ones, one, the ones we still get away with though are like uh, I, I love rock and roll by Joan Jett. Oh yeah. And yeah. That was a, that was a good one. Shook yeah. me all night long. Shook me all night long. I mean, if you want to do the rock and roll stuff we can pour some sugar on me pour poison. some sugar on me yep yeah <laughs> watch the mic there watch the mic yeah. your face i know well, I'm, I'm injured <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well i'll here tell you, you what go. i now i can tell you how we got worried as time went by when people said you were going to play Elvis, and they said, "Who's he?" You knew you were starting to get in trouble. <laughs> and then, as, and then as time went by, we really knew we were in trouble when they didn't know who Bob Seger was. Well, wow. they, used to, they used to list too. Don't play. Please do not play Bob Seger old time rock and roll. Yeah, they, yeah. they used to do it. So now. So here when did we that are. start happening? When did people start giving you lists of things not to play? Oh, it happened quite. It happened quite. Uh, no, I'd say quite, we quite, got quite. into the '80s. People started getting because the disco came out, and then you started getting a little controversy there, and people would start getting a little picky on don't play that. We uh, didn't want to play. Was it Johnny Cash? No, Jerry Lee Lewis. Oh, okay. And I said after the thing was over, I said, "Why do why you want me to play Jerry Lee Lewis?" Well, I guess they had somebody in the family that had a bad thing happened with Jerry Lee Lewis. Okay. So that's, you know, something like that. He, okay, that's fine. I don't he care. He kind of fancied really, 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 really young girls, if I remember yes, correctly. Yes, he Jerry did. Jerry Lee did. Yeah. He was kind of a smarty, too. When I when I met him, he had that, uh, you know, who are you? Yeah, and look of, at me. And, you know. He was I'm, a little bit cooler than he yeah. really was. He yeah. thought he was cooler than yeah. he was. Elvis was the most polite person I met. Okay. The funniest person was, uh, uh, see, it's 80 years old. Now, I'll come back and uh, I'll come back in a couple of weeks and, and I'll be able to come up with a lot of these <laughs> You'll answers. have to write it down and put it in Braille. Uh, no. Huey, uh, this is Huey way more was, fun. Uh, the guy that did, uh, oh, she was, I met him at the RPI Fieldhouse in Albany, New York, too. I can't remember a week. I know you said he, you uh, did. Don't you just Lincoln? know it. Don't you just, oh. don't you just know it. Uh, 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 oh, no, I don't want to sing. That's right. Yeah, that's probably not a good thing. 
<laughs> Huey Smith. Yeah. In the Huey oh, Chicka Smith. Boom, Huey, chicka Huey, boom. Don't Huey, you just love it? Don't you just tune? love it? Yeah. Huey Smith. Okay. He was okay. funny. Huey he was funny. Piano wasn't a piano Smith or something like that, or just Huey. Huey Smith? Huey Piano yeah. Smith. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yeah. He was funny. He was a he was a clown. Now what about the bopper? I got. I'm sorry, Bill. What about the bopper when you met him? Did was was he? Uh oh, he was an old guy. <laughs> yeah, because you were young then. I was young then. He the was old. The big bopper. The big bopper. Yeah, yeah. J.P. Richardson. Yeah. He was. He was an old guy. Yeah. Yeah, he went down on the plane with Buddy he, Holly, right? Right, and along with uh, Richie Valens. Richie Valens. Yeah. He, he wrote a lot of songs though too. He did. Yes, he did. Yeah. Yes, he did. He wrote, produced, and stuff like that. And mm -hmm. Paul Anka. I remember meeting him, Paul Anka, Neil were, Sedaka, when you were having his baby. No, when he was having his baby. <laughs> <laughs> So, hey, you got more questions? Or? Yeah, what about, what about uh, one of the things in, that I was never very good at when it came to DJing weddings, since I only lasted through two, one of them with you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what are some of the dumbest questions people have ever asked you while you're DJing? Or, you know, or, or you get those two or three people that think they know what the other three or four hundred want to hear. Right, right. There. Uh, all that used This to. song... That no, used to get. That how many get, times in your life, if I had a dollar for every time somebody went up there and said, "Why did you play this song? This song sucks," and I you know, look out and yep, the dance floor is dance full, floor is full. It's packed. Oh, People man. are having a great time, and somebody's telling you, "You're ruining the night playing stuff like this." <laughs> or they'll come up and they'll say, "Play this song right now. Play this. Song. Oh, it'll get the dance floor." And it's some stupid song you never heard of, and I have the. Or album, a right. song that you know is not yeah. going to work. Uh, well, sooner or later, and this did happen more than once you finally have had enough and you say look go sit down let me run the show i'm getting paid to do this if you don't like it complain afterwards <laughs> <laughs> understandable yeah understandable didn't happen didn't happen that often most most of the I have a lot of good memories but yeah. hey we didn't do everything perfect not no. every of course gig not. was 100 percent good it's live no. man even it's, no, no, it's yeah. dj but it's still live and yes. it's still technology yeah. and there's still wires and electricity right. and a lot of things that you've got to count on in order for things to go right, right so I would imagine, uh, how often did that ever happen now? How about the worst? Like, you walk in, you go to turn on the system, and it's dead. It's dead, and that did happen to me Many once. Many times. And, yes, but the one that's memorable, because I was Because you the, didn't get it back alive I was, again? No, I was the engineer. I was the guy that did this business. I made everything. I built everything. Because you should, built all your I own know speakers all, right? and everything. So we walk in. This is with Dale, Hippie Dale. And the amp goes out like this and I'm going oh my god what are we gonna do this is the only amp this is before we started back in, uh, uh, keeping backup yeah. amps we used to after that we started making sure we had two so this kid looks at it and he says you got a cigarette pack and I said yup the, the fuse blew and I didn't have a spare one yeah I'm panicking he's cool as a cucumber he takes a cigarette pack foils up takes the foil out wraps it all up puts it in there puts the cover on didn't have a bit of trouble the rest of the night <laughs> <laughs> I'm supposed to think that, of those things that was the close call yeah. yeah well there's a lot of them though i mean there's a oh there's yeah, a ton. yeah there's the, ask, what about was, you man you've been, you've been doing this long enough you, uh, you, like stuff cutting out i guess at the beginning it would be better for things to cut out than if you're halfway through the set and all of a sudden stuff starts not working right he sent us one time he sent me out to, to a place i don't know it was probably about two hours away and uh that what, what I, he didn't send me with a mixer that's what it was i didn't have a mixer and that's when we were using the mini disc player so what oh. I did is I ran one mini disc player to the amp, the other mini disc player to the amp with the, the luckily they had the phono jacks on them, right. so I could play yeah. left, right, left speaker with one and right speaker with the other one and turn them up with little headphone. Uh, yeah. There was one. There was, was one. There was one time when we we had people a, loved us too. It's really we crazy. had a separate PA system for the PA. We kept it away from the music because okay. I didn't. I didn't like. Because you didn't want feedback. The, yeah, the mix didn't sound good. I didn't like the way it interfered with it. So we had two, and there was one time was yeah, it with you? That, yeah. Yeah. Hat, the amp went down, so we ended up playing the music through the PA through the system. PA, but you had your backup right there. <laughs> yeah. But ever since then, we have uh, we had two of everything, two amps. 
And so yeah, if you yeah. had a screw up with something, yeah. you were ready to go. You yeah. had uh, you always had a backup. Right. Plan. And if you had plenty of speakers, if a tweeter went out or a woofer what went out, you had plenty. Paul, of Paul, Oscar, you guys can answer this any way you want. What about technology now? A lot of uh, I'm sure there's I'm sure the fly by night DJ business right now has to be is booming. Booming more. Yeah. What do you need? You need a couple hundred dollars worth of speakers in a in a receiver Internet. and a and yeah and Internet. Yep. And mixer mic uh, mixer. Yeah, the, the pro- computer, you're good. The, the pros. Computer. What, what do you think about that, just going off the internet? That would be a little bit scary to me if you were doing a live DJ gig and you were counting on the fact that uh, your internet wasn't going to break. I've uh, seen it happen. Commercials yeah. start playing in the middle of songs, yeah. all those kind of things that happen. Or the song gets downloaded, it's not what you thought it was, or you're trying to play a clean song and it ends up being dirty. Uh, uh, I've had that happen once or twice yeah, on the Irish uh, show. I want to hear the song yeah. first and, and the people come up and now and ask for a song they i got a, a request list and i say just mark it down and they come up and say well how come you haven't got this song i said well it's because i never heard of it you never heard of this i said there's a billion songs out there you don't really think i've heard and know every one of them do you and he said, I'm, besides, I'm 80 years old. <laughs> yeah. They already, sakes, they already, guys. All they got to do is look at me. They already know that. <laughs> but yeah. you know what I do? You know what I do now? I write the song down. If they get a little nervous over it, I'll say, I'll say write it down. I said, you come here a lot. I said, I'll have it for you next week. And I go back. Oh, you'll do, you'll do something like that yeah, for yeah. people. I'll go back. I'll get it. If you'll it's a song, I'll pay your 99 yeah. cents. And, yeah. uh, a lot of them want to play it on their phones. They, and 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 yeah. they want to play it. Out their I've had I've had phones them. handed to me here. You can download it through this. I said not in this system. You can't. Yeah. And they see that big system and that scares them. So. <laughs> I think it's that's you that scares them. <laughs> yeah, it that's a combination of things, Paul. That scares <laughs> yeah, them. It's yeah, not I know. just the big system. <laughs> you scare me. It's if big you die. daddy behind the mic too. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I'll tell you what though. I get a lot of respect from these young kids, even though, even though I don't like a lot of their music. They respect me back there. They may fight and everything out there but i get all you know the mexican people the black people the white people they all come up they shake my hand they give me the high five doing a good job maybe it's just the age maybe yeah. they can see that i'm an older adult and yeah but i'm sure you've always been respected by people how often do they come most up of and the say, time. you know well we're gonna wait outside for you and after this is over with <laughs> we're gonna put the boots to you no, sure, that t- doesn't happen very i'll often. tell you what it did happen at the bar i'm working at because when i took over the guy in front of me quit a guy did come in with his wife and he sat at the bar and I guess he was giving the bartender uh, a lot of trouble because I was there. And on the way out, he walked up and I thought he was going to say, nice job. He said, you suck. <laughs> 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 this is the beginning of the night. I ain't even started yet. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a good night. <laughs> I haven't seen him since. <laughs> well, guys, uh, we are on uh, this one. This hour went by ridiculously fast. And I appreciate you stopping by and Paul. I hope you're around 40 more years, man. Why not? I will you know, be, and we can great. do this again anytime. Yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> I just uh, I appreciate both of you guys coming in, and uh, I think that's amazing that you're still rocking and rolling, man, because most people, uh, by the time they are 80 years old, are not hauling wolfers and tweeters <laughs> around it, concerning themselves with what the latest top 40 hit is. That's yeah. usually not their problem, but heck, that probably keeps you young, huh? It does. It's still a lot of fun. Yeah. I right. mean, we don't like doing wedding receptions anymore but that's just because they're long lengthy but yeah we still love playing gotta, the music you gotta deal yeah. with the mother-in-laws too those are always, yeah right always yeah the they're not as much fun as the, are they harder to deal with in oh, yeah. 2019 yeah. than they were back in the day yeah because they they're not as active as they used to be you, you can't get the, the crowd on the dance floor you you gotta get 10 people out there yeah. there's 200 on the end of what, what do you want come on let's get out here and dance they just yeah, but they. I have got to look at the entire experience yeah. now, right? The, I don't know the last yeah. two that we did it. We had them out there. We had the dance for a pack. They well, were we always there. get somebody in the dance. Yeah, floor. we had them out. But there. it's a different generation. Yeah. They're, they're out there. These guys are out there doing dances, and they have good good results. So. 
and we still get girls even though we're old as dirt they still come up to us rub their stuff against us and say would you play this song for us even though we're uh, I missed that this is a, yeah I was, I was gonna say uh, okay somebody throw some water on Oscar and wake him up from this dream he's having right now okay uh, yeah, I want to follow you around a while you yeah but even when we were young and those those girls came up to us we knew we were never going home with them anyway so oh, yeah really right yeah, yeah, just true. just the one you yeah anyway they you played their song and they discarded you like they discard, a filthy right. dish yep, rag. Yep, yep. There like you go. Away. Paul Phillips, Oscar Osbo, thanks for stopping by, you guys. Paul, happy birthday to you, man. Thank and you, Many, Bill. many more. And uh, <laughs> obviously, you guys, you're welcome here anytime, man. You're driving by. If you know I'm here and you want to stop by and say hello, stop by and say Will hello. Will do. Appreciate you guys. Thanks. Remember, you remember the days when you and I used to work at uh, the Park Row whatever it was, not Park Row, what is it called over there, that little hotel over there? Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, Jockey yeah. Club. Jockey Club, yeah, it was it. Nice. You had some fun over there. Oh, yeah, me too. I had some fun, and then it was like, just like every other.